Hello, my friends. How are you doing? It's your friend Phil here, project management trainer and coach. We just got done with our class for the PMP exam, and some of our students have questions about how to maximize study time after a course like this. So here's my advice. You guys have taken the boot camp. You've been through the mock exam, and you guys did really well on the mock exam, those of you in the room. Those of you at home, you have not taken our mock exams, perhaps. I would advise that you do if you're trying to get certified because our mock exams are the best litmus test. We had a student back there who got a 79. I can't remember when last I saw a 79 on this mock exam. And I told this student, you are ready to take the real exam. Don't waste a minute, just do it. Why am I that confident? Because there's historical information that shows me that if you get a 70 or greater, you're ready for the real exam, okay? So those of you who may have gotten in the 50s or 40s or 60s, don't worry, just close the gaps. You see, in a lot of the boot camps that we go for, the major concern is passing a test. No, the boot camp is not to pass the mock exam. The boot camp is to sensitize you to the content on the real exam. And it's also to help you identify where you are on the spectrum of things. So if you got done with a really good boot camp, they should give you guidance on the next steps. And that's one of the things I would like to talk about with you guys having spent a full week with me. Okay, so I really appreciate you being patient, drinking the Kool-Aid, soaking it in. But now it's time for us to focus on the next steps. So you're done with your mock exam. What do you do next? Take a chill pill. First, relax. Give yourself a day to let the information soak in. Now, those of you who are gonna be joining us online as well, in the online course, give yourself some hours, okay? Don't look at PMP or Pembuck Guide stuff for the next 10 hours. Then we'll see you on Saturday. Those of you who are not joining our online group, I would say look at those weak areas and close those weak areas. The moment you begin to feel, all right, I've got my energy back, I can face it, then do it. Very importantly, what I just showed you guys up here, I showed you that Excel file, the self-study file, okay? So I would like you to take a look at this self-study timetable or schedule. As you can see here, I have got the days spelled out pretty precisely. And I started this on the 14th of May. Now, if I adjust this a little bit, let's say I make this a different day. Let's make this the 28th, for example. You see how the entire schedule moved? So this schedule, my friends, if you truly mean business on your PMP exam, you really wanna ace it, follow the timetable so that you can get done as quickly as possible, okay? You can see here, I have starting off on the 28th, going through in a dedicated fashion, 29th, 30th, going all the way down, and then you get to the point where you take the marathon mark, okay? So after you've taken your main mark for the course for the second time, a few of you that need to take it again, I would say take the marathon mark. It's as crazy as this one, okay? And when I say crazy, I mean it is very, very predictable. It is very, very accurate. Right up there with the real exam, okay? You want to take the marathon mark. And then after you take the marathon mark, you want to take these 2020 vision quizzes. Take the 2020 vision quizzes on the learning system, okay? Some of you might wonder, well, Phil, this stuff right here, what is this? Well, the stuff here is available to any student that is signed up to our learning system at praiseon.com, okay? So when you sign up at praiseon.com, there are a lot of videos for every knowledge area. These are the videos that I'm saying you need to watch. Now, if you read what it says here, it says PMP exam prep camp course online self-study and read each chapter in the project management essentials book. 
and it says the PMBOK guide is needed. Each chapter is followed by a quiz. So pretty much go through the learning management system, step by step. I've told you countless times, people have been here before you. They have been there, done that. My PMP champions that I told you about have been there, done that. These people are now PMPs. They are certified and it's good for us to learn from some of them, okay? So you remember I showed you this about an hour ago. I'm gonna give you a very quick reminder regarding some of these individuals who have gone ahead of you to ace the exam, okay? So the first person that I would like to talk about here is a student of mine, Sarah. And what is very remarkable at, about Sarah's performance is she wasn't necessarily the highest score when she took the mock exam. But one thing I can say Sarah did is she left no stone unturned. And she was the first person from her class at Pepperdine University to get certified. She says, leave no stone unturned, call Phil, which she did. She said, Phil, I wanna take the exam. Should I go ahead? And I gave her a little quiz. I said, you're ready. Call me when you got something sensible to tell me. Why, why are you calling me to discuss these trivial, you are ready. Don't question me, don't question yourself, you're ready. So she listened and took the exam soon after, four above targets. In those days, we would call them proficient, all right? So she's one of my rock stars, John Wood. John Wood, he took the mock exam. And like many of you, he felt bad about the mock exam, you know, for a minute, but he turned back around and said, I can do this. So it's one thing to feel bad about what you see, but the most important thing is the action. You gotta take action. So he took action. Let me show you what he did. Take a look. He closed all of the gaps by narrowing down each attempt of the different quizzes, the different chapters from integration all the way down to stakeholder, and even chapters one, two, and three, he went through all of these, documented his scores, and worked on improving. That is what you guys need to do. Work on improving your scores, okay? So he worked on improving his scores, and the result, as you saw on the screen, four proficients, four. And this is someone who did not necessarily get a mark he liked on the real exam. Another case in point, Parmeet Singh. Parmeet is out of Canada, got the LMS on the Thursday night, did some project management for his MBA and said, hey, I've got the PMP exam on, on Monday. I'm like, what, Monday? Are you kidding? You got a lot of work to do. You're looking at doing this on Monday. So just because you did a degree program in project management does not necessarily mean you're gonna be able to take on the PMP as he discovered. So what did he do? He studied like no man's business. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, put in like 12 hours, heavy amounts of time. Took the exam on Monday, aced the exam. And then the next week I had him talk to my students in New York to share his secret. How did he do it? Dogged, rugged, determined, and disciplined. Okay? So you're done with your boot camera friends this is the stuff you need to do okay now if you're just joining we're taking a look at my rock stars who went above and beyond to kill the PMP exam you can do it too these folks were on our system and I want to recommend you go to praiseon.com and sign up for our training because it's very very different it has a lot of coaching elements and if you engage us we engage you in the conversation okay those of you who have recently come aboard the training, you've made the wisest decision. The only thing I'll ask of you is to, like the folks in the room here, put in the last 20%. It's like the 80-20 rule. You've come all this way, you need to put in the 20% that gives you the 80% return. I've seen this across the board for all of my students. Another case in point, one of my rock stars out of Virginia, Steve Shaw, LMI. 
Look at what he did. He took over his dining table, put butcher paper all over the thing, got post-it notes, and began to map where each ITTO goes, where do the outputs go, where, where do the outputs become inputs, which tool and technique is used here. You can see it doesn't look very pretty, but this is how he got it done. And you have to get it done. Emran did something similar. I've told you to get a whiteboard, get something like this. Have you guys got, well, you've got whiteboards in the room, but you need to get your personal whiteboard in your own workspace. You've got to use that to dump the information regularly so that it becomes part of you. If someone says, acquire resource team, you know it's wrong. If someone says, monitor control communications, you say, no, there's no control, it's monitor. You become so sensitized to the process names. So that's what Imran did. He's now a boss, he's now a PMP. So the formula for success, study, 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 take all of the Prazion LMS modules, quizzes, the 2020 vision quizzes, pre-course work that I asked you to do that you may not have done, I want you to go back and do it, cram sheets, flashcards, the mini mock exam, keep taking it till you get a 95. Listen to the audio, listen to the audio, listen to the audio. The 20 hour audio that you guys have got, download it, listen to it. Why wouldn't you use what you paid for? You paid for it, you might as well use it, right? So those of you who take walks, hikes, go to the gym, play it relentlessly until it's all stuck. Read the PMBOK guide, read the study guide. There's a tool called PMP exam power review that's out there. And you guys in the room, in the room right now, when you are maxed out of all the content, the live content that we've gotten from this training, the pre-work, if you want more, those of you in the room, if you're looking for more, you gotta ping me and I'll get you fixed. Those of you in the room only, those watching after the fact that are not in this particular organization, this is for these folks. Because these folks, they have invested very heavily in this process, okay? So I'm gonna go above and beyond for you guys in the room, all right? So let me know if you ever exhaust all the videos, all the audios, you need to come back and ask for more, like Oliver Twist, and I'll get you fixed. PMP exam success is contingent on many parameters. It differs for many people, but the overall overarching thing is close your gaps. Find your gaps, close your gaps. Those of you who are a little bit upset about the mock exam, telling you, mock exam is a yardstick for improvement. It just tells you this is how much you need to improve to get to the level that, for example, Hasha got to a level of the 79. So it just tells you relative to someone who is ready for the exam, this is how much more you need to catch up. And that is okay. That's okay, John Maxwell says, leadership develops daily, not in a day. Project management aptitude develops daily, but it develops. So don't compare yourselves thinking, oh, Hush is like 10 miles ahead and I'm here. No, it just shows you what you need to do, the amount of work you need to do, and you catch up. You know, like I'm showing you people here that were so far behind, they caught up and overtook the first person in the class. So stop beating yourself up saying, oh, I got this mark, I got that mark. Okay, that's not gonna help you. All right, now I want you to get your, your cards. I've, I've got the success cards and I've handed them out by giving them to our manager, a great manager here, okay? So ask her for your cards if you've not received your cards. Ask Meredith for the cards if you didn't get your card, okay? So in closing, my friends, how do you put 
a pretty bow around this whole experience by getting certified. That's what you need to do. Don't listen to the lies that say, put it on the back burner. You've got six months on the LMS. No, if you do that, you may not end the journey. Like I tell you, lots of people start, but very few finish because they give up. They push it off to the side for a week, then two. And before you know it, they've forgotten everything. They've forgotten five, five process what? 10 knowledge what? They forget what they're called. So you don't want that to happen to you, okay? I trust you guys are gonna follow through. You're gonna execute. You're gonna finish big. You may have started small, but you're gonna finish big, all right? Let's do this thing, let's get it done. And then let's get group two in. And I want you guys to help me help group two. It's as simple as that, because I know you can do it. The scores you know, that I saw a few minutes ago, they're very impressive, very impressive scores, all right? So thank you all very much. And um, of course, I'll be checking in with you. Those of you watching remote, Thanks for joining us. Do what you need to do. Those of you who may be on the plane watching right now, hey, we're looking forward to you doing what you need to do. You West Coasters, you New Yorkers, we're looking for you to finish big, okay? I believe you can do it, and I'm here to support you, okay? Take care. Bye for now. Thank you all very much.